Hey there! Short warning, many ifs are incoming. If you're using the DJI V2 goggles and if you want to use V1 antennas and if you want to set up with an Omni and a patch antenna and if you're flying only the Cadex Vista, the DJI Air unit or the Cadex Air unit and if you're not flying the DJI FPV drone then this is the right video for you. In this video I will show you how you can optimize the antenna placement of the V2 goggles. But enough of talking, let's go! I learned from a Facebook post that the antenna placement on the V2 matters really a lot. So I searched the internet and I came up with this picture. On the V2 goggles you have two TX connectors and two RX connectors. While on the V1 goggles we had three antennas which were TX and RX and one antenna which was RX. I don't go into detail here, but as I read that some of the combinations where to place which antenna matters, I came up with a non-scientific way to test it. I went to my favorite bando spot, which is full of stone and metal, and I thought this would be the best place to test this. Looking at this picture you can see I started over here, then had a turning point over here, went back, another turn, and then flew back to me. So I'm the funny red little dot over here and I was pointing roughly in this direction. I did four different flights with four different antenna combinations and you can see the whole flights at the end of the video. But we will do a shortcut here. I will show you the positions in the video where the signal is the weakest at the turning points and then we come to my conclusion. So we will care about the delay and the bitrate. So as you might already know, the lower the bitrate goes, the worse the picture gets and the higher the delay goes, the worse the quad is flying or controllable. I haven't sped up the videos, so when you think it's speeding up, it's only because of breakups in the video signal. So let's have a look at our shortcut. So, before we come to my conclusion, pause the video here and write down in the comments what you think would be the best and what would be the worst antenna combination slash placement. I came up with this combination. So, you have the TX, the patch antennas and the RX, the Omni antennas. And why do I think this is the best way? So, when you have a look at the last video, you can see that I can go much further without without breaking signal or increased delay. And the worst combination was when it was the other way around. So when the Omni antennas were on the TX and the patch antennas were on the RX. I'm eager to see if you saw something different. And now, as always, if you didn't like the video, don't tell anybody how you spent the last minutes. But if I helped you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos. I'm posting at least one video a week to get more beginners into this great hobby. So stay tuned and see you next time.
In this video, I will show you how. Du warst gerade. <lacht> Was war das denn gerade? 